Hello, Shane McCusker here, Intelligence Software. Welcome to another webinar. Today, I'm going to talk about big data, what it is, and why I think you can happily ignore it. Wikipedia defines big data as being data that is so big you cannot use conventional computer technology to manage it. It also has to apply the three V's of volume, variety, and velocity. So what are they? Volume. Big data is big. No surprise there. But how big? Well, I've recently been doing some work on Twitter, Twitter bios, the little text size piece of information people on Twitter put about themselves. Twitter currently has about 280 million monthly active users. A Twitter bio is about 72 characters in length. So if I was to get the Twitter bios for everybody who uses Twitter, how much data would I have? Uh, you'd have about 20 gigabytes of data. 20 gigabytes isn't that much. 20 gigabytes is the sort of data size I could easily store on my smartphone. So it's nowhere near the size for big data. If I wanted to get big data type sizes of data, I'd need 50,000 times that amount of data. Huge amounts of data. But even if I had 50,000 times the Twitter bios of everybody on Twitter, it still wouldn't be big data because it doesn't apply the second two Vs. Velocity. Twitter bios don't change that much. Twitter streams, they change a lot. So velocity means that the data set changes so quickly that you need to be able to query it faster than it changes so that your answer hasn't changed by the time you get your answer. Variety is the third V, and that means that it's not just text, it could be anything. It could be images, it could be audio, it could be video, it could be dates, languages, anything, any information. So record sets that are in the big data territory have to be really big, rapidly changing, and all sorts of different structured and unstructured formats. So the sort of people that deal with big data are not your average recruitment agency or your small business, they're huge IT businesses like Google, like LinkedIn, like Facebook. These organizations who have access to and have to manage this quantity and variety and volume of data that's there. So why do I think you can happily ignore it? Well, I think you can happily ignore it because you're almost certainly not dealing with big data type setups. But I'm sure you, as I use big data every day because we all use Google. We all search Google and we search big data, but we don't get big data back again. All we get back is data. It's the stuff we make use of. And whenever we make use of data, that's the important thing. It's not the size, it's what you do with it that counts. So that's why you can happily ignore big data. It's another one of these technical terms that has fallen into the hands of sales and marketing people who have corrupted it for their own purposes. Happily ignore it. Put your fingers in your ears and carry on about your daily business of trying to extract value from what you know. I've spent my career in intelligence software developing tools and techniques for recruiters to get value from data. Not big data, just data. Because that's how you make more placements Find the people you're looking for. That's my thought for today. Hope you like it. Uh, if so, please share this video. Please connect to me on LinkedIn. Follow me on Twitter. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.